Yeah, we practiced this morning at 9.15, and then we were going to load the bus and leave at 11.30. We, we talked a little bit before um, practice today that the expectation we would be playing in front of uh, just uh, central personnel and family members. So we thought the tournament would be, uh, the Missouri Valley tournament would be affected. Uh, but that's kind of what uh, we were going with through practice, and then uh, saw that the uh, the ACC and Big 12 and, and uh, Big 10 canceled their postseason tournaments. So right, that was right after practice we saw that. So I talked to Jen Jones and said maybe we shouldn't load the bus at 11.30 and let's wait for the Missouri Valley Conference call at uh, 12.30. And, and that's when we were told that, the, the, that our tournament wouldn't be um, moving forward. Well, what about your team? You had a breakthrough season, you're on the verge of... Yeah, it was hard. You know, we you know we initially told the team, hey, let's plan on leaving one or one thirty. We were going to get through this conference call, and then just uh, met with them at one o'clock uh, before. I wanted to make sure we talked to them before it got out on social media, and it was devastating. I mean, it was one of the hardest things I've had to t do as a coach. Um, just a, a lot of promise heading into the tournament, and um, but just talking to them about, hey, some some things are not under our control, and you guys have done a great job all season controlling what you can control, and. You know, things happen for a reason. I really believe that. I don't know what this is, and we'll, you know, but, uh, you know, uh, you know, it's basketball at the end of the day. But it's, it's hard to tell your seniors that. It's, it's hard to, uh, you know, that they don't know when they're playing their last game. A lot of times you go in, you know, when you go into postseason, you know, we had, the, we had a WNIT berth, which women's basketball has never even done that at Bradley. Uh, so, you know, that and the, and the chance to play for the NCAA tournament, uh, you know, that was really important to us to really make his, history in that, in the postseason uh, uh, realm. But uh, it's hard for seniors when you don't really know that you, you could be playing your last game. So, but, you know, I think we've got a, a level-headed team. Um, our seniors are going to do really well in life, uh, for sure, hardworking and, uh, you know, We'll, we'll still cherish this season and, and uh, what we're able to accomplish. It's just, it's heartbreaking. But, um, you know, life's tough sometimes and life's not fair sometimes. But uh, you just really, at this point, pray for uh, our country and the, the health and well-being of, of our citizens. I mean, that, that is first and foremost. And, but uh, really just proud of our team. And it's difficult. Uh, I'm sure it will get easier as each day passes. Um, but uh, t tough day today. Had they come to grips with that, or what, what was their reaction? Not quite yet. I mean, it was, you know, um, very emotional meeting uh, today. So um, they love each other. I mean, this team is one of the close -knit, closest knit teams I've ever coached in, in many years of coaching, and just a uh, truly honored to coach them. So they're, they're going to stay stick together, I'm sure, uh, stay together tonight and just uh, – uh, relish the time they have and together as a team and um, but for us you know um, it's again it's it's a not take away from what we accomplished especially our seniors and what they were able to do the only seniors in Missouri Valley history that have gone for consecutive years with improved records I mean that's something that's something really in, in, uh, impressive for them and that's the only thing I just want to make sure that they understand is you know, it's out of our control. They did what they could do for this university, for our basketball program. And they're going to go on and do amazing things the rest of their uh, life. So it, it, it's, it's heartbreaking today, but it is, there is much bigger um, concerns going on right now in the world. We've got to keep it in perspective. It's just hard when you put that much time and energy into something. But emotional day, but, uh, you know, proud of this group for sure. Well, you know, I, I don't know that yet. I mean, we just, you know, got to get through today, tomorrow. Uh, they have class classes tomorrow, so, um, and, uh, you know, just need to make sure that we stay with it academically and stay on top of things. Um, and uh, I think it's just, you know, too soon to start talking about next year or <laughs> returning players right now. It's just, it's uh, just kind of, kind of still processing this. Was it a huge shock? You know, when we saw that the NBA uh, suspended their season, I know that the um, the NBA players were saying they didn't want to play without fans, and, and that's a huge part of of why they play. And 
we would have played without fans. <laughs> you know, like we, our kids just wanted another game. So when we came in today, we pretty much thought that, uh, you know, we were going to play um, with a limited number on our pass list and uh, just with essential personnel and uh, but still be able to compete. So that's really what we, we thought pretty much up until right after practice, looked at our phone and saw that um, some of the Power Five Conference were, were canceling their men's tournament. So that's kind of when um, we thought, you know, so, but again, you know, you, you got to, you, you can't control it. You, you work hard and focus on things you can control. And uh, I really, I'm really proud of our team for doing that. And we'll be fine. They'll be fine. They'll move past us. We have great memories. Our seniors have, will have great memories. Um, and uh, we'll talk about this season as, in a positive way. It's, it's not going to be something where, you know, it's, um, you know, that we're going to go down and talk about it as something negative. So, again, just really proud, bummed for our seniors, especially, and the rest of our team. Um, but, uh, again, they're, they're great student athletes, and uh, they have a lot to look forward to. No, we finished at uh, about uh, quarter to 11. We were supposed to leave. Our bus was already here. We were supposed to board and leave at, for Moline at 11.30. And then when I saw the tweet come out at about uh, the three Power Five conferences canceling their postseason tournament, I talked to Jen Jones and said maybe we should hold off uh, boarding the bus and wait till our Missouri Valley Conference call. So.